Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today or this week I'm going to be filming a week in the life and I'm going to make it as realistic as possible. And this morning I woke up, worked out at Orange Theory and now I'm in my workout clothes still. It's like 11ish. Actually came back a while ago. I have just been like planning out my week and like planning out like what I'm going to do for the next couple of days. Um, currently wearing my little scuba zip up, my Wonder Under Train leggings. And I'm wearing my gray swiftly tuck underneath. Basically for the rest of the week, I have today and tomorrow to kind of just like get stuff done. Because on Wednesday at 9am, I'm, I'm getting my, getting wisdom, my wisdom, teeth wisdom teeth out. Teeth out. <laughs> and I'm getting all four out if you guys are curious. Two on the top, two on the bottom. If you guys aren't aware, the recovery process for wisdom teeth is very long. You can only eat soft foods. You can't do high impact exercise. One thing I've been seeing all over TikTok is drinking pineapple juice. So I would say it's like 45 hours until my appointment. So I think I'm going to start drinking pineapple juice now. I'm going to finish my coffee and then start the pineapple juice. I'm just going to fill up my big Starbucks tumbler with just a bunch of pineapple juice and... We'll see how it goes. And then here is my to-do list for today. A few of these things I can push till tomorrow. I'm actually just finished my laundry. So I'm going to go take care of that. I'm trying to have a more of a looser plan. I've been struggling with a lack of control in my life recently. I used to kind of be in a place, especially last year, where I felt like I had like total control of basically pretty much everything. Since school was online, I just felt like everything was just more flexible. But this year and like kind of the tail end of last year, I feel like I've just kind of been getting hit with thing after thing that I'm just unable to control. But I'm also experiencing a lot of personal growth and I'm doing a lot better because I feel like I found myself comparing me to my past self in like a negative way. I just wanted to make this vlog and just be open and honest with you guys about things that I'm struggling with. The wisdom tooth surgery is like a perfect example of how I'm feeling kind of like out of control and I'm kind of worried and I feel I feel really anxious about the surgery if I'm being honest because obviously I know they've performed this procedure like a million times. I'm not worried about the actual procedure. I'm just worried about the recovery because I really thrive off of productivity and it's important for me to be able to do things like work out in the morning, get things done during the day, um, and like hang out with friends. And those are the kinds of things that make me happy. And I love doing those kind of things. I'm just really worried about the unpredictable element of my recovery. Even though I'm gonna drink the pineapple juice, I have no idea if it's actually gonna work. I'm really hoping it is gonna work though, obviously. I have looked so ghostly and pale this entire time. My self-tan is actually coming in the mail. I ordered self-tan and I ordered um, castor oil. Okay, my eyelashes are actually pretty long, but hopefully they can grow a little bit longer because I don't love wearing mascara, but I love long eyelashes. So it's kind of, anyways. <laughs> My face, oh my gosh, it was getting so much better. And then I had to go off my acne medication because it's gonna like interact badly with the antibiotics I have to take for um, my wisdom teeth removal surgery. So we have this guy up here, I actually did pick this one. So that was also a contributing factor. Um, and just like on my cheeks, it's like very like texture right now. I'm having like some major dark circles. So I need to put on some more eye cream, I think. I don't know. If I'm being honest, I've not been wearing eye cream because I've been crying so much that I'm like, it's a waste putting on eye cream. I literally cry after I put on eye cream. Then it like, I don't know, it gets in my eye and it hurts so bad. So I've been avoiding it for that reason. <laughs> but I'm going to put some on now. I don't think I'm going to cry anytime soon. I don't know. I said that yesterday. And you know what I did? I cried. So... Basically, I'm wearing this as pages. I'm wearing pajama pants and these Uggs. They're off brand, but they're pages. Hey, they're, I actually just took them from her. Comment down below your favorite Girl Scout cookie flavor. Mine are Samoa's and Tagalon. <laughs> Tagalon. And if it's not Tagalon's or Samoa's or Thin Mints, you're dumb. Mm, if it's truffles, we're gonna need to have a little and one the on plain one. ones. Plain ones. Okay, bye. <laughs> It's 8.45, I'm honestly so tired. And when you get yours into that, you can't drink water or like eat food in the morning. Eat food I get, but drink water. Like I'm so thirsty right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead in on my mask and I will see you guys, I guess, after surgery. I don't really know if I'm gonna be, oh, 
So I'm gonna be vlogging then, but we'll see. I feel pretty okay, honestly. Like I didn't expect to have the gloss in my mouth, but I didn't expect to be feeling this normal. I thought I was gonna feel really bad, but I actually don't feel yeah, basically they just like oh yeah, I like went to the room and they like did my blood pressure and like they put this like IV thing in my arm and then I just took a sleep. There's no like countdown. I like had some weird like in and out like dreams where I felt like it was just weird. See bolts not my gold. <laughs> I look back this vlog and laugh, but oh, they don't, they don't fall. I know. How quick was it? It was like thirty minutes. Just thirty minutes. Yeah. yeah. Tops. Maybe it is. Let's see if fresh juicery is open. I'd like some. Um, you should stop talking. Why would I do that? I need content. I've gone with that. Yeah, I got gossip. telling me. I got he was telling me I had gossip. I have no gossip. <laughs> The lunch lady, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then there was that other guy. Oxygen in your nose. And I was like, I feel like they only do that to people who are like dying on TV shows. At least I'm not crying. Thought I'd be crying. Maybe later. Maybe later. That's not very optimistic of you. No, it's not. No, there's something else to say, I feel like. I'm gonna look back at editing this and I'm gonna laugh. clock open, fuzzy jacket, <clears throat> white target tank, pink urban outfitters, like Pepto-Bismol sweats. They're really, really cute. It's 11.30 right now. I woke up at like 8.30, a little after 8.30. Not beginning the best sleep. Literally yesterday I did not vlog because when I woke up, I, oh my gosh, I was like in the worst like pain, like right here in my jaw. It was just, yeah, that was a lot. Literally all I did was like lay down on the couch and like put on my phone and watch Sweet Magnolias. I like binged the first season. It's pretty good. It's a little bit boring at some parts though. But yeah, yesterday just was not eventful at all. Today, I woke up in a lot less pain, which is good. I literally didn't do anything. Like I didn't leave my house or even just go out to my backyard yesterday, which is very bad. I want to try to do that today, definitely. I never said, but today's Friday. I'm also going to try to stay off my phone more today because yesterday I was on my phone for like four hours, which isn't terrible, but it was just like, ugh, it made me more tired. So I don't want to do that today. I already started off the day well by reading and I just sat down. I've been drinking my coffee, watching some YouTube, and that's been really good. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of watching YouTube vlogs um, because I'm living vicariously through other people. <laughs> On. We're gonna go in. Here's a before of my nails. They're looking very crusty. We're waiting at Barnes and Nobles, so I'm very excited. And then I'm going to go home, and then I think me and my mom are gonna watch The Bachelor while my dad makes dinner and probably work on my college, like little spreadsheet, which is like me listing pros and cons of different colleges and different factors. Actually, I saw a bunch more books though, so I think I'm gonna add to my TBR list right now, just so I have it up to date. I love going to Barnes and Nobles because sometimes like, you can just strike it rich and just find a bunch of books, and that's what happened today. Guys, I'm just drinking my coffee. I'm in my car washing outfit, this like thrifted sweatshirt from Walt Disney, and then my. Aritzia like TNA running shorts and then my old sneakers 
got my coffee we're all ready to go i pretty much spent the entire morning like cleaning um my bathroom kitchen my own room wash my sheets i'm about to put in a second load of laundry and then head out to wash my car my car is so so gross it's actually a crime <laughs> Right, guys my mom and i just got back from our pedicure appointments and i basically just got the same color to match my nail tips so yeah very like fun like summery color because the weather has been beautiful so i'm feeling all the summer vibes i'm so freaking hungry right now guys like i can't even think in full sentences i'm gonna give you guys a haul um of everything i got i mean i got i literally got two things of everything I got when I get back inside. Hey guys, so earlier when I went and got my pedicure, I got a few things, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul. So, I only got two things. I got a little matching set, and I love matching sets, if you guys didn't know. Um, but the first thing is this Lydia top. I love this top, it's so comfortable. I have it in one other color, and these bra tops I just like cannot get enough of. And the pants, I really did not think these were gonna fit me. But one of my friends, Ellie, you guys have seen her in the vlogs a few times. She just bought these and she sent me Snapchat. She was wearing these. And I was like, those are so cute. Where are they from? She was like, Brandy. And I was like, I need to get those. So these are the Priscilla pants and they're so cute because you can fold them over. But I love it because it's really comfortable while still being like really cute. So it's like comfy loungewear vibe. I just love it. All right, guys, I know the lighting isn't great, but I'm going to end off this video right now. It is like 7.30 and I just finished, or mostly finished my job application. I just have to fill out like a few more things. If you guys are wondering, I'm applying to be a camp counselor. So crossing my fingers for that. Um, I did it last summer and now this summer I have the opportunity to become like a higher up position than last summer. So exciting. Um, but yeah. I want to try to experiment with some longer videos, so let me know down below if you guys would be interested in a little bit of longer videos like this one. Yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!